say hello to a guide dog team. Hello, my name is Kim Samko and I'm counseling specialist for guide dogs for the blind and I'm working my third guide dog, Wyla. Coming home with a guide dog is an exciting time and also a little bit scary. While your friend or family member is away training and learning how to work and care for their new guide dog, you're left home wondering what's ahead. Many family members tell me they're nervous about how this guide dog is going to affect the relationship they've had with this person. Until now, this person may have depended on you for the fast, safe, and effective travel. In this video, we'll talk about how you're still important and how you can support the success of this new team. What does a guide dog do anyway? Guide dogs are trained to be mobility partners for people who are blind or visually impaired. But beyond being mobility partners, graduates from our program describe their dogs as best friends, mind readers, and even soulmates. This relationship requires more than just companionship. It requires absolute trust and interdependence. You'll hear the term guide dog team. A guide dog team consists of a blind or visually impaired handler, your friend, and a guide, the dog. The guide dog sees and leads the handler gives direction and reward, food and praise. Good girl. How should I interact with a guide dog? We know, we know, your first instinct may be to want to pet and fawn over the dog. Tempting as it is, however, may we suggest the following. Greet your friend first and ask permission to meet their new dog. It's best to approach your friend one-on-one. -on -one. If your friend agrees to let you meet her new guide dog, speak softly to the dog and offer the back of your hand for the dog to sniff. The dog should be on leash and under control. Please don't distract the dog while it's working. Doing so may endanger the safety of the team. Don't be offended if your friend declines your request to meet their new dog. The timing may not be appropriate. How can I assist a guide dog team? You may be used to providing human guide support for your friend, and this may not change, but now the dog is part of the equation. To provide human guide, you will offer your arm to your friend who will grab your elbow and walk a bit behind you with the dog in the healing position. At times, your friend may prefer to have their dog follow you. In these cases, the team will simply follow you as you walk a few paces ahead. Another option is for you to follow slightly behind your friend and their guide off your friend's right shoulder. This will allow you to still converse with your friend while not getting in the way of the working team. Direct your assistance to the person, not the dog, and never grab the person's arm or the dog's harness to direct the team. When giving directions, be specific, using phrases such as, ahead of you, about three feet, rather than over there. What can I expect as the team is adjusting to home or work? The first few weeks of bringing home a new guide dog are critical in terms of your friend being able to forge a strong bond with their new dog and establish their roles as teammates. Here are a few things that you can expect. The dog will initially spend time on leash, tie down, or in a crate when not working or playing. This will ensure that the dog does not develop poor house behaviors. Over time, the guide dog will earn off-leash time. Sit. Down. 
Your friend will act as the dog's main caregiver, playing, feeding, relieving, and grooming. These activities help to strengthen the bond between your friend and their guide dog. Food rewards for the dog always come from the handler. Please refrain from offering the dog a treat, however tempting it may be. Feeding a guide dog may adversely affect the dog's health and could lead to the dog becoming distracted by food and therefore unsafe while working. How should a guide dog be introduced to children? When introducing children to a new guide dog for the first time, it's probably best to do this one-on-one. -on -one. Both the child and the dog should be calm, the dog in a seated position. The child offers the back of her hand for the dog to sniff. Then the child may be given the opportunity to gently pet the dog on the side, back, or head. How should a guide dog meet other dogs or pets? It is best to introduce them on neutral territory with a guide dog out of harness. Both dogs should be on leash and under control. It's important for your friend to be able to maintain verbal control with his guide dog at all times. If your dog distracts the guide dog, let him know that you and your dog are present and proceed to get your own dog under control and standing still. Guide dogs and pet dogs should be separated during feeding, especially during the guide's initial transition to the home. How does a guide dog maintain its training? The guide dog handler has been given many tools for optimizing their dog's performance. When dealing with management issues, your friend has been encouraged to use positive reinforcement techniques. Sometimes the guide dog may become very distracted. In these cases, a time out or collar use may be more appropriate. Either way, the handler's goal is to return to positive reinforcement. I hope you enjoyed this video and probably the most important way you can contribute to the success of this new guide dog team is to give them the space they need to find their way. This is an exciting time and all of us at Guide Dogs stand by to assist. Please call us at 800-295-4050 or you can visit us at www.guidedogs.com.